Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Bowna's Kitchen. In today's video, I'll be preparing a creamy and delicious Mongla chicken curry. For this recipe, I'm using 300 grams of chicken peas, which I've already washed and cleaned. Make small slits over the chicken. Now we are going to do the basic marination. Add quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of red chilli powder, little salt, and one tablespoon of yogurt, and squeeze juice of half of a lemon. Mix it well and let it rest for 20 to 30 minutes. Now in a small bowl add 10 cashew nuts and 10 almonds and add little hot water to it and let it rest for 15 minutes before grinding. We are going to use this paste later in the chicken curry. Now heat a pan and add 2 tablespoon of ghee. Now add 3 medium sized onion finely chopped. Now we are going to saute this until it's brown. It will take at least 15 minutes for these onions to get brown. So keep sauteing it and make sure it does not stick at the bottom. Saute it in medium flame. Do not add any water while sauteing. Now our onions are brown. It took me almost 15 to 20 minutes. Now we are going to make this into a fine paste. Transfer this to a blender and let it rest to room temperature before grinding. Do not add any water while blending this paste. Let it cool to room temperature before grinding. Now our onion paste is ready. Heat the same pot again and add 2 teaspoon of ghee. Now add 1 star anise, cinnamon stick. Two bay leaves, three cloves, two cardamom. Saute it for a minute. Now add the onion paste which we prepared already. Saute it for few minutes since we have already cooked the onion. Now add 1 teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste. Saute it until the raw smell is completely gone. Now add quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, 2 teaspoon of coriander powder. One teaspoon of red chilli powder and one teaspoon of garam masala powder. Now saute it until the masalas are well cooked. Now saute it for three to five minutes. Now add the marinated chicken pieces. And the required salt for the recipe. Mix it well. And add 1 cup of water to it. You can adjust the water level according to your preference. I have used here 1 cup of water. Now mix it well. Now cover the pan and cook it for 20 minutes in low to medium flame. Now our chicken pieces are well cooked. Now, now add the cashew and almond paste which we have prepared already. I have used little water while grinding the cashew and almond paste. This is going to give a creamy texture to the chicken. 
and this is the most important ingredient for this curry now mix it well cover the pan and let it cook in low flame flame for 5 minutes after 5 minutes you can see our creamy and delicious mughlai chicken curry is ready this mughlai chicken curry tastes awesome with any kind of indian flat bread and it tastes good with rice as well do try this mughlai chicken curry at your home and let me know in the comment section how it turned out for you see you all soon with another interesting video thanks for watching